Hi! Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use the beautiful Winter Woods and his light stamp sets together to make an easy and elegant Christmas card with the true meaning of Christmas. I love all things Christmas and today we want to focus on the reason for the season. I'm Shelley Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles and for 17 years I've been teaching others how to create their own hand stamp smiles. So for my Christmas card with the true meaning of Christmas we'll also be using the coordinating in the woods framelit dies. Here's a closer view of the Winter Woods stamp set. Isn't this beautiful? And the coordinating in the Woods framelits dies. And we'll be using a couple of these dies today. And when you order the two of these together using the special bundle item number I've listed right here, you'll save 10% on both. Now, bundle discounts are available only for the length of the catalog in which it was introduced. And this is from the 2018 Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog. And also from the Holiday Catalog is the His Light Stamp Set. Look at the elegance of that font with the beauty of the stamp set. These two are made for each other. And so we've got that big, beautiful rejoice. And then you have your choice of two sentiments. Let his light bring you joy this season and may this season be blessed by the true meaning of Christmas. Just love this. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the die cutting. It might seem a little bit backwards because I will be stamping, but it's going to work out just fine. So I'm going to grab my big shot. I've got my Big Shot die cutting machine and because I want the die to stay in place I'm going to use the optional magnetic platform. This is an additional purchase but one you will be so pleased with. So that's the start of our sandwich and then we need a cutting pad. Look at that. Almost new. <laughs> Love it. All right and so then we have our Whisper White cardstock. I'm going to turn it like this. And I love this snowflake or snowflake snow bank die. Isn't that fantastic? And so what I decide to do to make sure I do it the same way all the time is to pay attention to the Sizzix that's printed on there. Okay, and I'm gonna go across this direction. There we go. Okay. And a little bit higher. Good. And then to finish our sandwich, another cutting pad. Yeah, no cuts in that one yet. Go ahead and crank this through. <laughs> I know you think it's going to break when it sounds like that. So look at that. I really like that curve. Okay. And so then I want to do that big, beautiful tree. And so I've got more Whisper White cardstock. And the way this turned out, okay, let me turn that over. There we go. So we have better contact. Um, the way it turned out, the way I cut my paper for it, this is the leftover piece for that at the end that we cut, and it's perfect for this. All right. And so same sandwich. Go ahead and crank this through. And there we go. And so then when we pop that out. We're gonna, you're going to see we're going to have. Um, the pine boughs that are going to stick up. It's a really, really cool die. I want to show you how pretty this die is. If it's stuck, you've got these little poke out holes. Just gently poke and look, then it comes out really easily. And, uh, and isn't this cool? So we're just going to bend these up a little bit. I asked my husband, I said, okay, how much pressure does a mail sorting machine put on, on this? And, uh, and I compared it to me putting my weight on it and down. And so some of them in the mail are going to flatten, but still, if you go ahead and bend them up, I really think maybe there'll still be some dimension to them on the other side. Doesn't that look cool though with that added dimension? Just love it. So, you know, the more you do, if you're mailing them, the more apt there to resist going through that machine. Love that look. Okay, so now we have our stamping to do. Yeah, you can't help but play. <laughs> <laughs> and to make life easier, because I'm thinking, okay, Christmas cards, let's use the Stamparatus, because we're going to make a lot of them when we make Christmas cards, right? So I have my Stamparatus. Here we go. And I'm all set up. And it made it easier to go over this side, because it was a big stamp, to get a really good um, image. So I'm going to come over here, and I know I want it three down and one over. Okay. So I've got my magnets, and yep. The very first time I used it, I broke them. But hey, it works for me because <laughs> it 
Now I've got more magnets and I have one up here in the corner because, oh look what I have on here. I have a piece of the new grid paper because I'm going to be going off the edge a little bit and so it's going to stamp on here instead of on this surface because, well boy that's on there, good. You know, that's a non-porous surface, so I'd have to stop and wipe it off every time, right? Going over the edge, I'd have ink all over everything, so the paper will absorb it. So you can purchase these now in my online store. Very, very nice. And another nice thing about these, because, you know, I'm using a clear mount stamp, which means it has that good red rubber. Um, but when you're using the photopolymer, the clear ones, see, this would go over top, and then you can't see the grids anymore. Well, now you'll be able to, because you can put the piece of paper right over top from the grid paper. Very nice. So it works for a couple very nice purposes. And so let's just do a test, make sure I remember what I thought. Yep, that's exactly where I wanted it. So I have this all set up. And look what I'm figuring out. This is from my paper, peer, not my, sorry, my Big Shot die brush. And I just set it here. Now, oh, let me move this over so you can see what I'm doing. I like this. So I've got that sitting here, the black, against the black. But now I've got a nice solid surface for inking it up. And I don't know if I told you about this magnet. Just the paper stays in place. I just put a little magnet in the corner. Okay. All right. And that's another one of the, I broke both of them immediately. <laughs> you can buy replacements, but <laughs> the little ones come in handy too. So what I have here is the Smoky Slate Classic Stampin' Pad. We're going to pick this up slide that in and you know what I got so busy talking let me slip on my stamping sleeves so I don't get ink someplace I didn't mean for it to go okay because I don't know when I get done my hands look like <laughs> well I've been stamping all right so let's go ahead and ink this up there we go and now it's all set to hit it just where I want it to So just rub. That works for me because I just want to make sure I get a really good image. Oh, and I didn't do a good job right there. So let's press down right there. Isn't that the beauty of it? Because if you didn't get it as dark as you wanted, like I had missed, you just put it down because it's going to go in the same place every time. And if you want it deeper, you could ink it up and do it again. I don't want it deeper. Okay, to shut this, we're going to push because we're going to stamp right over top. And then just a little swipe of my stamping sleeves, just in case. Now, if you were doing this, we've got hinges at the top. You could just set it all up to do that so you're not replacing. That'll save you time. But it looks better on camera for me to do it from the side. So let's do that. Just slide that in. Isn't that nice? I mean, we already have the Big Shot die brush, right? Because we need it for our Thinlets dies. It makes that stuff pop out. And so we'll just cushion that and leave that up. And we're going to use the Night of Navy Classic Stampin' Pads. So we're just going to pick that up, slide that in. Okay. And I have both on here. I've got Rejoice, Christ is Born. And so I can just do it all in one fell swoop because I'm using the same color. There we go. Nice and inked up. Come over here. Fantastic. Oh, doesn't that look nice? Now right there, I don't know if I didn't press, I think I see a little bit of blue. You just gotta love the Stamparatus, the second chance to do things. Now to me, this is plenty deep, but if you want it deeper, ink it up and do it again because it's gonna go right where you want it to go. You know what, I just see this too. Okay, there we go, got it. <laughs> and then I have it all set up for the inside, my sentiment. We'll go right over there, ink that up. Isn't that nice? That's the plates that they're that they're removable that we can use all four surfaces. And so that'll be inside and I'll show you that a little bit later. So we've got all of our die cutting and stamping done. This is a really quick card and it's simple, but there's a lot of elegance to be found in simplicity. So I'm gonna get a piece of scrap paper here because the base of my card is Night and Navy. All right, and so we're going to put this on here, but this piece, we're going to use that too. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to turn it over and make ourselves another snow bank. Doesn't that look nice? Okay, we want to turn it the opposite way. We want the banks to go different. Isn't that cool? All right, so some snail adhesive. Put our finger where those ridges are. There we go. And slowly go across. There we go. 
because snail what does it mean all right let's say it together super neat affordable inline adhesive <laughs> so i know i want that down about right there so i'll just set it there for a moment okay here we go and i cut these to go edge to edge I don't press down until I'm happy. You know what, sometimes I find it easier to open it up so I can see that I'm edge to edge as well. Oh yeah, that looks good. Let's not press down yet because, oh yeah, that's exactly where I want it. Isn't that sharp, that extra bank? So it's not a piece of scrap, we used it. And we're just gonna, just such an easy way that I share with you to dress up your cards are Stampin' Dimensionals, these foam adhesive dots. So we're gonna peel that off. And so some added dimension. And it helps with my snow banks. Gives dimension to those too. Oh, grab two. So one in each corner will be just fine. There we go. And press with your thumbnail. Short nails work just fine. It just um, makes the edges pop up. To make it really, really easy to peel these off. Fantastic. So then close to the top. You know, how much border you want, that's up to you. I like that peeking out. I started off with it all the way to the top, and I thought, ooh, I liked a little hint of color coming out. Doesn't that look sharp? So I got here and thought, I like this. I like the simplicity of it and the elegance. Elegant and simple. I thought, I wish it had a little something more, and that's where this tree came in. Look right there. Isn't that pretty? So we've got a small thing. And I want to pop it up because that just makes it extra special. So look, you could trim down your Stampin' Dimensionals, but this will make life a lot easier. They call them mini Stampin' Dimensionals. I think they should be called baby because they're so adorable. <laughs> and so we're going to put them in places. Now look to make sure they're not peeking out. You wouldn't want to be able to see them. All right, so we're going to pepper those around. And look, here's where I put them. The top, the two sides, and right there. And then again, the little thumbnail trick. Very good. This is a card that you could easily do for mass production. Especially the Stamparatus. You're just all set up and you just bing, bing, bing. And I think your people will, on your list, will just love it. And so look at the dimension there. Fantastic. is an easy, elegant. Ugh, and the simplicity of it. There's just so much elegance and simplicity and I told you the inside so I just simply stamped the greeting but again that gorgeous font and I chose may the season be blessed with the true meaning of Christmas and I'll have a link to my blog post for the measurements of this card under the video to make it easy for you to make this too if you'd like to make my easy and elegant Christmas card, all the supplies are listed below the video and available to order now in my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com. When you place your November 2018 Stampin' Up! order of $25 or more with me, I'm going to send you one of my Winter Woods His Light Christmas cards. So get on over now to my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com. I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.